Okay, um, there he is. I was getting ready to talk to the vlog about how late you are. Cause it's 11.30. Natty Brown's dog is popping. Guess I gotta get these boots heat molded, that's what everybody's saying. What, it'll make them fit? I feel like they they're say. too tight. They're saying it'll loosen it? Yeah, I guess. I didn't realize it came out like that. I have the same system. Yeah, yours is the silver level, right? Yeah. That's I just wanna wear these out. <laughs> you should. I love that. You having Kodak on your fridge and the breast cancer awareness is a troll. <laughs> like, that is a troll. You're a fucking troll. I'm an internet sweetheart. I'm not a no, troll. You're not. Just I'm, now. This is I'm, how it happens, though. Like, at first they think you're sweet, and then they find out the truth. You know what I mean? You know, call Logan Paul. They <laughs> thought he was a sweetheart, too. You know what I'm saying? Fucking troll. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring it back. You didn't bring it back. So uh, I have some writing to do, and then I have, uh, I have, um, what else do I have to do? Uh, live stream for a little bit, and I gotta draw, I have some design stuff to work on. Start doing some painting stuff, and well, we're not gonna get to painting yet, because my paint, paint hasn't even shipped yet. By the way, that is acrylic gouache, that's what I paint with. And then wait on urn and Brandy, and I think we're gonna see Star Wars. Which I don't really wanna see Star Wars. I used to love Star Wars growing up, it's one of my favorites. And then, um, you know, I have Star Wars tattoos that I have had removed, but uh, it's another story. But I, the last Star Wars was like whatever to me, like I know I was made, but I haven't seen this one obviously, so I think we're gonna go see it. So, uh... Painting, painting, painting. I guess we'll talk about process here. So a lot of people ask me, one, like how I come up with ideas. And uh, that's like, I guess the main thing, right? Because a lot of us, you're an artist or, you know, whatever, you like to draw, paint, whatever, uh, create. And you might sit there a lot of times once you finally get your free time that you so badly want to create, you finally get alone in your space, you got all your stuff, you're ready to go, then you don't have any ideas. You know, you're just sitting there staring at a blank paper for three hours and then you end up on Twitter starting a fight. You know, like whatever, like, so like, it's just hard to come up with that. I generally like to just get inspired by the things that I've consumed. So, and it takes time, like when you're younger, you haven't consumed as much. Like you think you have, you've seen a lot of stuff, but you haven't really like dove in and consumed it, you know? So what I like to do is it's just like, I just go into what I like, you know? And when I get writer's block or any kind of block, drawer's block, I, uh, I just draw something weird, you know? Like I generally will just warm up. It's just like anything, like a video game or making music. I'll just warm up, I'll just draw anything. Like an alligator wrestling, a uh, chipmunk and I know that's like hard to draw but it gets your brain working and it gets you just kind of thinking and then from that point um, ideas just come from like just whatever like you can get inspiration from anything everything around you is in perfect balance for music the sound like the sound right now like my voice versus the sound outside versus the cars and the horns over there and the people that are yelling at everything is in perfect balance and it's the same thing with what you see you know it's like if you go to the zoo one day and you see something that gets you to just to think about something different and then you just apply that. You know, it's uh, like for me, like one of the drawings I wanna do right now, I wanna do a dragon versus drones. I just wanna do this whole big thing, you know? So that's kind of the idea I'm working on today. Like I want, it's just something I wanna do for a while. I've been playing around my head. I don't know where the idea really came from. I don't think anyone knows where their ideas come from. I think they just come to you. I think you're an antenna and you receive messages and signals, but you just have to be open to receiving those. And I think part of creating is appreciating what's around you and appreciating the things that have been made before you. And then just adding, not copying, or anything like that, but then just having that inspire you moving forward, but most of all inspiring you to be yourself and to represent like what you're actually trying to represent. It's very hard to unlock these things that are inside of you that you want to put on paper and express to the world or film, music, whatever. Uh, it's hard, but it's also very easy to just let go, not think too much, not try to hit a home run every time, and just create, you know, like just makes. I got to a point in my life where I was painting, I was working on big projects and I couldn't finish anything. It was really frustrating because I just felt like I was constantly climbing uphill 
and then eventually I just started doing small paintings every day. I did really small paintings that I could finish one or two a day and it gave me a sense of accomplishment. Uh, creating for everybody is different, but mainly your ideas will come from all kinds of sources around you. I would say just be open to living life and then just be open to creating with no limits. That would be my advice. I'm gonna start drawing. Uh, so generally when I draw like a big painting or something, I don't usually draw on this paper, it's just sitting here. But what I do like to do is make uh, smaller like thumbnails because if I don't, then I have to, you know, basically pull out a piece of paper that's big. You can't even see like a huge piece of paper, tracing paper or another piece of paper to draw on. Work out all these um, crazy schematics. Huge, you know, like drawing a drawing an apple this big versus drawing an apple this big is different. It's easier to draw it this big. So thumbnail sketch is how I generally do it, you know, and I do a lot. Of it. It's like anything, you have to find kind of that flow that you want. So uh, this is not long enough, but you know, for instance, so like if I'm gonna do the dragon versus drones and this probably won't work out to be the one I use, but I'll just make my drawings. But I just like doodle until I find the shapes that I like, until I get that composition that I like. And all these things just take practice, you know? Like drawing is very much, or art creation is very much about staying in practice. Don't use it, you can easily lose it. But, you know, like it should be fun. You should wake up with the desire to create, I think, or else you're just probably not feeling that creative. Um, so my thumbnail sucks and this happens a lot with me. I just alter it to make it work. And I just draw all my stuff. And this is like super loose, right? Like this is just like whatever little sketch, but it gives me an idea of the direction I could go into if I wanted to, you know, it's like. All right, that's your lesson today. Start small thumbnail sketches before you do big projects. If you're doing a small project, you draw probably true size. And sometimes I do draw true, uh, true size drawing or painting, but generally a little fun, you know, just a little roadmap to get you where you think you want to go. You can change the turns, but you probably still need to know which direction you're going. But I'm gonna go play video games for a little bit and then come back. Hey. 100 milligrams nice. going down, going to see Star Wars. But now you've eaten 100 And I'm gonna, I'm gonna bootleg it and sell it on the end here. Yeah, we're gonna have the Dirty Urn version. Yeah. It's called Star Wars. Yeah, we're gonna do it. But we're gonna do it live. Yeah. We're doing it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Yeah. I feel like you don't have to be quiet. No, you can talk, you can throw things. No, you what, in the quiet. movie? Yeah. Why would you not have to be quiet? Because you're like eating dinner. Quiet eating. Um, it's not like plates and shit. Like, it's not like you're like cutting a Does steak. Does he have to be quiet? I mean, he, but, yeah, he has to be quiet. I'll chew with my mouth closed if that's what you're saying. <laughs> but As you should. Dark? Don't make me fight you in the theater. Have we ever been to a movie together? No, I'm very polite. Have we ever been to a movie together? I don't think. I oh, rarely no. go to movies. The only movies I go and see is like Star Wars you or something really big comes out. Uh. I know hype beast. You're a movie hype beast. You just said you only see what's popular. Well, like it's something really big that is worth seeing in a theater. Like Star mm. Wars will look cool in a theater. Like Star mm. Wars will look cool in a theater. Supreme Mofi. Supreme Mofi to charge the camera on the low. Should be on. There it is. On? There it is. No, that doesn't turn it on. That checks the battery. I just, yeah, it's uh, charging. Okay. okay. Oh, Shots fired. <laughs> Damn, no, we're about to see Edward Lawnmower, man. Seatbelt is brought to you by. Canon cameras. Well, nobody. They got grilled cheese, I'll get four. They don't have grilled cheese, I don't think. Maybe on the kids' menu. Yeah. Things of that nature. Nice. Just like dinner last night. What'd you have last night? Pizza and chicken fingers <laughs> from Walmart. What the time. fuck is wrong with you? Why? Got the blue apron and it was just too late and it got later and it was like so 9 o'clock. got the fucking ooh apron instead. I went to Cake Supers though. For Brandy, I got her like those good, you know, apple organic meats or whatever and fucking it. Good uh, chicken tenders. No, I don't. The, the real I, you got her the really nice chicken tenders, huh? Yeah. I'm trying to think in the last Star Wars, I think it left off that the girl, Rhea, Ray? Rai. No. Yeah, it's Rai. Rai? Yeah. You gotta say it like with a r though. It's Rai. 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 No. I think it's Ray. It's like a bar though. Like we're all facing, like we're next to you, like the seats. Nah, are you're gonna, your back will be faced to the screen. You'll have to twist. Oh, gosh. It's like a regular movie theater seat, and it just has a table. Each person has their own little table, like an airline, basically. But nice. it's not that close to you, and it doesn't fold out. 
Uh, the old Golden Corral. Gee. We should go there one day. Oh my god, why? I don't know. Is Yoda in this shit? I hope. I love that dude. Is he, do you think he was always just really small? Yeah, because these dudes are all like aliens. Like some of the other dudes that he rolls with are like... <laughs> what dudes does Yoda roll with? Like, like... Oh, what's the fucking guy with the big Turn face? The, those aren't his homies. That's just all part of like the Jedi Council. No, it's all fam. I'm gonna go over there. Where? Over there. Is that it? Where that building. A is? Big is out. <laughs> Sometimes I'd like to have a job lined up at the turn of the century. I was. Oh, I know where I am now. So, what did you think? I thought it was kind of whack. <laughs> I, I mean, thought it was like a really long Disney movie. Yeah, like, here's the thing. It seemed, again, it just mimicked in the second one. Like, Return of the... It Empire mimicked, Strikes Back? Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. It's got its similarities, that's for sure. I don't get the whole breast milk scene. <laughs> yeah, that, don't. That, <laughs> it was a little, while you were eating. <laughs> it was a little wild. Yeah. I was just like, what the fuck? Yeah. This is like, did that scene, was that necessary? Like, my man's got, like, milk dripping down his beard. and he just needed it in there, though. I mean, yeah, it was a little crazy. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, I could see why someone who was, like, young or whatever and didn't watch the old ones would like the new ones, but... Yeah, exactly. The new ones are just like, I don't know, it's just a bunch of stupid jokes. And you're just like, it's just not Star yeah. Wars y, you know, just kind of. And there's like a constant reminder the whole time that you're watching a Star Wars movie. It's like, they like keep reminding you, like, hey, yeah. just in case you forgot, you're watching a Star Wars movie. Yeah, you know? well, that's what it did start to feel like. <laughs> yeah. And I get the corny jokes. I mean, there were corny jokes in the first one, too. I get it. I but it's to a point, but. Not really like, can I you hear it. me now and fucking... I didn't like not like it, but it was long. It got to the point yeah. where I was like, okay, this is good, but it could end at any point. Yeah. The only really good part is... It didn't feel like he... conclusive of an ending. It was just... it the last movie? No, which I get, but go. still, even the other ones had more of a... I don't know, it felt pretty conclusive to me. You just said you wanted it to end, and then you said it wasn't conclusive. Yeah. Because you I'm... literally said yeah. it could end at any minute, and then you said... It wasn't conclusive. <laughs> Those two things no, don't go together. <laughs> like, it could have ended earlier, but like where it did end, it wasn't like, I don't know, it just kind of felt like it just ended. It was just like, all right, now we're going to end it. No, they ended with a fucking new little Jedi kid. Which like, I did like the next that part. fucking well, The next one. Here's another franchise for you. Yeah. That's all. That yeah. Jedi kid with that broom. Yeah. Was about to learn how to sword yeah. fight. I don't know. It's just like a really long Disney movie, basically. Yeah. Very Disney-fied. It was Disney-fied. I can agree with that. Well, fucking Luke Skywalker went vegan, dog. Well, I guess not. I <laughs> the milk, but... Yeah. I'm going to do an Rick Rubin meditation. Yeah. Good. Because at first when I saw his haircut, I was like, they should have made a cut scene of him getting his haircut when he like showed up. He's like, you yeah, know, I look like shit. Before I go out here and face this guy. That would have been great. Yeah. I don't know. Well, see, but I did. I liked the whole the whole Jedi mind trick thing. Yeah. That was cool. There's some. It was okay. Like... Bran? What? Well, what do you think? I don't know, I liked it, but I haven't seen all of them, so... I did like it. It wasn't, like, the best of them, but to me it was a good movie still. Mm. I don't love that fighter pilot guy, though. He's kind of douchey. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of douchey characters in it. I don't know, it just really feels forced. I don't know, well, it did. Like, I can't tell. Like, the brush the shoulder off thing. It's like kind of funny, but it's kind of like, is this just gone complete pop culture? <laughs> where like, well, it's Star Wars. We're stepping out it's of Star the, Wars. Get, it is complete pop culture. The, yes. I, yeah. Before he touched his shoulder. Well, I'll be over at 9 a.m. Why? Uh, the drop. We have to drop a ten. My game for like an hour.
Okay, so it is late. It's like 12.30 right now. The vlog is finished being edited, but I, whoa, I forgot to do the uh, review of the shoe. So uh, it'll be pretty quick because there's really not a ton to talk about, but Adidas, Zeno, we looked at one pair, there is no box label, so the box is like this. It's black. My Adidas. Shoe itself, this is the white and black version of the Zeno. So this is back to 3.0 Ultra Boost. Uh, the other colorway that I got was the black with the black Zeno, or black with Zeno. This is just the white with the Zeno. The only difference between the two is this Zeno is black. So I something in it. Crazy. Um, this one is black, black boost, black upper. The Zeno has, the Zeno cages are more of a black colorway when the light's not hitting them. Obviously you can see the Zeno reflecting in the light, um, and the white one's the same. It's just Zeno on the heel. It's weird that you can't, well I guess you turn this way. So Zeno on the heel. There is Zeno, how many times can I say Zeno? Uh, there is Zeno on the cage as well. It's just not as reflective when it's white, but it's definitely Zeno. Um, and then there's Zeno on the tongue, but 3.0 colorway, basically all white upper, no pepperage, all salt. I have a regular ultra boost insole, black laces. I got more black laces with it. Obviously you could get whatever lace color you want. That's really it. My Adidas really just showing it to you. There's not much to review because we review a bunch of 3.0s. This one fits just like any other 3.0 or regular 3.0. So you could go to your true size or you could half size down depending on how you like it fit. So I would assume most of these have been delivered by now if you ordered the Xeno Ultra Boost. I'm just gonna imagine they're all starting to show up. If yours haven't, I would say in the next couple of weeks, it's probably over with. And then a lot of people are asking me if they can still get these and I'm pretty sure the answer is no. Code stop working a long time ago you're at the mercy of resale i really don't know what it is it's kind of a weird one with resale because you have to find the color combo you like and your size and that seems like a pain in the ass but that is the xeno ultra boost both pairs glad to cop i'm on the uh 100 on the my adidas things i believe so far as far as ultra boost goes but i can't really remember uh, a lot of shoes anyway i'm gonna finish editing this i'm gonna go to bed get up tomorrow for the drop 10 a.m king kong sizing chart is up so every check the sizing before you order please and uh that's it i'll see you on monday peace Shadow. <laughs> Stop saying I am the shadow. Boost Are shadow. you ready? Go ahead, yeah. <laughs> uh, I am the shadow. <laughs> See, now you're the shadow. Yeah, I know.